Oh, you probably need some sunnies too, huh, baby girl? Kia shark. Oh, I like your shades. We are heading out to the back of the orchard fence as a family to get some land and sea compost. So our project today involves the Hartley cold frames. We've got a few bulbs left in there. You know, I wintered over some uh, hyacinth bulbs. We brought some into the inside of the Hartley and that was a beautiful, fragrant display. And then the rest I just kept in there and we just popped the doors open on those cold frames and just enjoy the color. Today, what we're gonna be doing is amending the soil in those cold frames, and I think we're gonna pot up all of the ranunculus that I have growing in the greenhouse in there. My intention was to have those ranunculus for spring containers, but with how our spring is going, it's just we're behind schedule a little bit weather-wise, so I don't think I'm gonna plant up near the amount of spring containers as I once thought I was going to, so I think getting them all planted in mass somewhere will be really pretty, especially in those cold frames. It is 83 degrees in this greenhouse right now, and here are all the ranunculus. They look so good. We've got a bunch of different varieties here, like these are the yellow coat, uh, telecoat yellows right here. And I think, I think we've got, I can't remember how many. Do we have about 200 of these? If we split these in half and do 100 in each cold frame, that will be gorgeous. But we need to go get compost first. Let's go on a gator ride. Do you want your sunglasses? Here you go, babe. Are you going to be up here with me or are you going to ride in the back? I am going to be on. I'm going to chase. You're going to chase us? Okay, careful in those slippers. Oh, he's he's taking a side shoot. Oh, he's going to run down the brick sidewalk. Why don't you hop up in the back, dude? I think about five bags per side, don't you think? Okay. I imagine Benjamin will be rounding the corner in about 10 minutes. Hi guys, doing walk. Hi guys. Hi guys. Don't touch any buttons. Okay guys, so these are the cold frames right here. Let's get them all the way opened up. You can see that we already have some soil in here. This is the Espoma raised bed mix. That's what we initially filled them with. And you can see that they have really, they've seen better days. We've got spider webs and all kinds of stuff in here. I planted them up last spring. It was a bunch of spring crops like cabbage and lettuce and what else? Pansies, uh, daffodils, things like that. It was really sweet. And I know, you know, cold frames like this, oftentimes they're not used as like a planting bed. They're used as an interim spot for things that have been grown on in the greenhouse. And then you're wanting to harden them off and getting them, get them ready to be planted outside. So you can pop them in here during the day and keep the doors open. And at night you can close the doors and it kind of just helps them out a little Little bit um, but we opted because they were so deep after we had this thing constructed we actually put a bunch of firewood at the bottom do you remember how many feet of firewood we put in here a lot. it was quite a bit yeah. and then do you remember how many bags of raised bed mix we used it was a lot yeah so Aaron thinks we used like a pallet of raised bed mix and a bunch of firewood in here so I'm surprised we haven't dealt with more settling honestly and i want to keep them low enough to where things have room because you know when these doors are shut it's only this space right here so we're going to charge this raised bed mix up with some land and sea and just kind of spread things out really nicely get them all smoothed out i'm going to run some drip in here even though we don't have our drip system on yet we will have it on in the next few weeks um, so that'll be in place and then we'll bring all those ranunculus out here and we'll put them plant them right here right straight into the soil and it'll be perfect because you know they're used to being in a warm greenhouse so we can shut these lids at night and keep them protected but eventually they're cool season flowers anyway so it won't be long to where we can just keep these doors all the way open and then we can see these cold frames just brimming with flowers i'm so excited what do you want to show me oh my my look at that we've got tulips and alliums coming up Oh, there's tulips coming up all over in these pots, huh? Hey, Mama. What? Do you know what this bloom is? <gasps> Ooh. The first bloom. Nice. Right I see it. That's the first bloom. I see it. That's awesome. Uh, I guess we're going to have another plant right there. Yep, I think you're right. We've got Russell out here. Here are some of the hyacinths. So like I said, we've been opening these doors and enjoying 
the color. They're kind of spent at this point though. Most of them are. Got some tulips in there. Oh, yep, they're coming up on this side too. Very nice. Oh, this pot, we need to level up. Look at it, it's all tipped. My word. <laughs> And little update out here, the weird thing is, so Benjamin, I planted tulips in all four of these squares, but I'm only seeing, well, I can see a couple little tips coming up here. Yeah, this one is the most, yeah. <laughs> They're coming up all over in here. Look at that. Yes, you did. Samantha and Aaron are in the chicken coop. And then this square has a little bit fewer than that first one. I see just a couple little tips popping up right here. And then in this bed, do I see any? Maybe a couple right over in here. During the winter months, these beds closest to the Hartley, they are on the north side of it. And the sun is so much lower in the sky on the other side of the uh, structure that these two beds stay shaded for a heck of a lot longer. So we're gonna see if we have a succession of blooms here or if they catch up with one another and we end up having a nice balanced show of color. I don't know. Let's peek in here and see what Samantha Grace is doing. Samantha, what are you doing? Did you find any eggs? There might be some Aaron in that upper nesting box. Can you see if there's eggs in the top nesting box? Um, Got it? I found it. You found an egg? Good for you. Hello. Yay. You want to carry it or do you want to carry it? Uh, egg. Egg. Thank Tiny you. Eggs. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. Okay, we're going to start by adding five bags of land and sea to each cold frame. I'll rake it all smooth and then we'll add our drip. Look how good they look with just compost. Oh, richens them right up. Okay, Erin and Benjamin have our drip supplies. Does that drip tube have holes every 12 or every 18 inches? It looks like 18. Is that a foot or 18 inches? I'm not sure. It looks like a oh, foot to me. <laughs> Drip is done. Decided to go with three rows of drip rather than two, just because I wanna make sure like to the edges and to the corners, we're getting plenty of water and we'll be able to run it for a, a shorter rather amount of time rather than longer. So this is where it originates. You can see the black poly tube right here. And what that does is it goes underneath the soil and there's a conduit that goes through the wall and it's buried though. So it goes, through the wall underneath the soil here and it comes out right here which we will be attaching this to this drip zone here in the next couple weeks it's always nice to have that kind of foundation work done though even though we'll be hand watering for a little while here it's all set up and ready to roll as soon as we have a chance to hook it in then we can do that but it's looking prime for planting let's go unload and grab our plants
So we have 57 of them in here, and I don't think I want to squeeze any more than that in this space. You're supposed to space them out about five to eight inches, which is roughly what I have them spaced in here. I do still want to give them plenty of room. So what that means is I'm going to be only using the yellows, violets, and marshmallow, which it'll be a beautiful bouquet of color because the greenhouse is white primarily. Russell, <laughs> my goodness. Anyway, because the greenhouse is white, I think using the white ranunculus out somewhere else will be a little bit better because we'll have more contrast instead of the white kind of blending into the structure. So anyway, that's where we're at. I need to separate to the rest of these and get them all kind of laid out. What I did is kind of created a grid with the yellow ones because I had the most of those and then popped the marshmallow and violets in between the yellow. I think I got a pretty good distribution of color. Oh, these are gonna look so good. And this is what we're left for white ranunculus right here. There's roughly 80 of them, so we can create something really beautiful out in a flower bed. So I'll be putting all the white ones back in the greenhouse until I'm ready to plant them out. The thing about ranunculus is that you do wanna make sure you have a way to protect them like we do with the cold frames if the temperatures are going to get anywhere under freezing. Especially like that 28 degree Fahrenheit mark, that's when they freeze and will start to rot. So if you see any temperatures like that coming after you have planted your ranunculus, you need to go cover them, provide a little extra protection. And I'm not sure I wanna do that for these white ones. Um, I might just wait till it warms up. Who knows? I think these white ones are gonna be really pretty, maybe somewhere over on the west side. I think that would be really, really gorgeous. All right, let's get these done. All right guys, got them all in. They look so pretty, just tucked into these cold frames. I cannot wait to see some color out here. It just feels good to have the drip set up too because then that means we'll be ready for summer crops and you know, everything else. The kitties are loving the sunshine today. I think it's supposed to get into the low 50s today. It's feeling pretty warm. This side, I haven't put the cold frames down yet. But what I'll do is I'll come out here probably mid to late morning and open up the doors. And I'll open them up to, not all the way like this, I only open them like this if I'm cleaning them out, but we'll open them to this last notch, like that. Plenty of airflow in there, and then I will probably close them up at night, and then as it gets warmer and warmer at night, we'll probably leave them open, starting with the first notch, and then we'll gradually open them all the way and leave them open on this last notch right here. So pretty. And let me tell you what, you guys, we did not get the self-cleaning glass on the Hartley uh, because it does have a little bit of a tint in the sunshine and we have so much sun here that we just really wanted it to be clear glass. But we haven't had the glass clean for months now. It was like in the fall and it still looks beautiful. And we've had all kinds of rain. I mean, we just had rain night before last. I don't see any spots or anything. So what I'll do with these ranunculus is I will make sure to keep them watered, of course. I'll be out here twice a day opening and closing the doors here for a while anyway. I will probably give them some fertilizer, maybe on a once a week, every other week schedule. Now I didn't use Biotone starter fertilizer uh, this time because I used a lot of compost. I feel like that's quite a lot of nutrients and they'll have plenty to feed them here for a little while. Plus we can supplement, like I said, with a little bit of water soluble fertilizer. When I plant them out in the cut flower garden, they get the Sea and Biotone when we plant them and they get nothing else for the rest of the season. And they perform 
beautifully every single year. And I really love that one, we're gonna get some early color out of these in the, these containers especially, um, because we will get to enjoy the color this spring, and then they will be faded and ready to be pulled and stored by the time we're probably ready to plant some summer crops in here. So our timing, they won't overlap as much as I think some other things might. Anyway guys, that is it for today's project. Super happy to be out here planting. It feels glorious. Oh, I'm ready for it. Hope you guys are having a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.